and a bunch of other people who I wouldn't mind sending off to Rwanda are these bloody pro-Palestinian protesters who keep carrying on, and we told you earlier in the week about the ones at Columbia University in New York. They have continued their rampage against that university, staging their camp in at the, the front on the, the uni grounds. They've set up their tents, they're staying there, and they are intent on not moving. We showed you some of the, the vision the other night of the out-and-out -out threats of violence. Uh, uh, protesters basically encouraging Israeli and Jewish students who showed up to counter-protests that they should essentially be killed. So you can understand why some people may have a problem with this, including Robert Kraft, who is a, a major donor, has been a major donor to Columbia University, was a student of Columbia University himself, of course, of Kraft food fame. Uh, he says that this mob is effing crazy, as you can see there on the screen, and that he is going to be withdrawing any further donations. And this is exactly what we need to see. We need to see people stand up and put their money where their mouth is, or more to the point, remove their money, because the only thing left that can talk on this is money, because we know that the universities themselves, particularly the Ivy League universities in the US and certainly universities here in Australia, including the University of Melbourne, have done nothing to stem the rise of anti-Semitism. In fact, they seemingly support Hamas. And so was the case for one professor at Columbia, Shay Davidai, who is an Israeli-born man, a Jewish man, who rocked up to work today and found that he wasn't allowed in. My card has been deactivated. This is, the, this is Cass Holloway, the COO. This is Gerald Lewis. They were in the meeting where I asked them if Hamas is a terror organization, and they couldn't say that it is a terrorist organization. Why? I'm a professor. Why can I? Shai, we, we, No, no, no. Speak out loud. So the media. Shai, we are willing to take you to the math lawn. No, I am, I am a professor here. We have a professor here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everybody quiet. I am a professor here. I have every right to be everywhere on campus. You cannot let people that support Hamas on campus and me, a professor, not go on campus. Let me in now. Let us in. No, no. The uni said they couldn't let him in because they couldn't guarantee his safety. Oh, I mean, where have we heard that um, before? on. How good is that? You can't come into your own workplace. We've disabled your entry card because we can't ensure you're safe because there's a bunch of protesters on the front lawn that we refuse to move on. If the executive yes. of the university can't guarantee that their own Jewish professor is safe, then the executive should all resign because they're not doing their job. No, that's, that is their job. And yet, how can you ensure his safety to, what did he call it, the math courtyard? Yeah. But no, just no. nowhere else mm. on campus while these protesters, for want of a much better word, run rampant. They camped out there for days. They had their disgusting Jew hatred mm. chants on loud speaker, they pitched all these tents, matching tents, and just kept it up for days, for nights. Look at this concerted effort to assert their authority, which is completely made up. They have none. The uni allowed that. So then they say, oh, no, 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 we'll allow that. But you, one guy on campus, who's obviously willing to take it on the nose because you still want on campus, yeah. knowing that they're there, you're not scared. You want to come to work, as you should be able to do, mm. go about your lawful business. No, no, we're going to stop you from going... And, and this is what we've seen at our own protests. This is what we've seen at protests in the UK. Who gets told to stand down? Who gets told to go home? Even when the Opera House was lit up yeah. with this Israeli flag, the Israelis in Australia, the Jewish people in Australia, for whom it was lit up as a show of solidarity, were told to stay home because we're happy to virtue signal and light up things in the, the colour of the Israeli flag, but we're not happy to put our money where our mouth is and guarantee the safety of Jewish people here at home in Australia. No, no, that would actually take effort. We're seeing this across the UK. We're seeing it in America. This is another atrocious example, but I had to bring it back home because it is a perfect mirror mm -hmm. of what we've yeah. now seen countless times yeah, here. Yeah. Exactly. 